Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a little overview of the board game called Turf Master. It's a horse racing game, which is actually not real easy to come by. I found this one on a, a time well spent games. And it's going to run you probably a hundred dollars right around there. So, but it's a, it's a really neat game. Let's take a look at what's inside. Get this board here. I can get it open one handed. And it is double sided, so you have the oval track here. Then you have a triangular or tri oval, I guess you'd call it, track on the other side. And you get obviously the rule book. Nice rule book printed in several different languages. And each player gets their own deck of cards and their own set of dice. Now the horses that come with it are pretty nice. They're not your typical plastic pieces. I would say these are oh I don't know. I mean you can you can tell they're you know, metal or pewter maybe. Nicely painted. And so there's eight horses, eight decks of cards, eight sets of dice. You also have these um, jumps for steeple chasing. And that's pretty much what you get. Now I'm going to set the game up and then I'll come back and tell you how it plays. So I've got the horses lined up here ready to go. And the way you determine starting order is to roll the dice. The person with the highest roll gets the inside position, second highest, second position, and so on. Now how the game works is everybody has their deck of cards. They pass them to the player on their right. That player shuffles their cards and then deals them out 10 cards. And Everybody at the start of the race is considered in first place. So there's a handicap. And when you have, whenever, when you're in first place, the most you can move is eight spaces. Second place, nine spaces. Third place, ten spaces. So, like I said, everybody's in first place right now. The horse on the inside gets first, gets to go first. So we'll look at yellow's cards here. And you can see there are there is a joker in there. And this joker allows yellow to play this card at any time. It doesn't matter handicap or not. He can play this card. So if he wanted to move nine, he could, even though there is an eight handicap in first place. This nine, however, he could not play. So really anything, it's either this joker or eight or less. Let's say he decides to, to move to play the eight. So he's gonna move eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Let's say the black horse also decides to play an eight. Let's say the blue horse also plays an eight. And let's say the red horse plays a six. Now let's when you Play six or less, you can change lanes one time. If you play seven or more, you can change lanes twice. But on a six or less, you can only change lanes one time and it has to be your first move. So it has to be like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can never be directly in the space directly behind a horse or the space directly in front of the horse. So that's the most he could move there if he changed lanes. Now if you change, let's say, let's say the green wants to move, go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's say the purple wants to move 
he has a nine joker, let's say. So he goes, changes lanes once. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That puts him in first. Let's say the orange has a, he'll just move eight. So change lanes once, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's say gray has a 12 joker. He's gonna play a 12 joker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So he's jumped out to the early lead. So that's the round of cards. Once everybody's played their cards, the next round is a dice roll. And you play, you determine who goes first in dice. At the beginning of the game, you roll dice to see, and the highest number gets to roll first. And the dice, let's say yellow, let's say yellow one, the dice roll. So he gets to roll dice for this first round of dice. And he rolls an eight. So everybody can move eight because even the horse in first place, the most he can move is eight, so he's fine. But yellow could choose, instead of eight, he could choose the six or the two and make everybody move six or two or eight depends on what he wants to do early in the race it's not as critical but later on in the race there's going to be some things that may factor into whether you might not you might want to use a six or a two but let's say he rolled a let's say he rolled a ten and he chooses the ten well, Gray is in first place. Whoever is in first place goes first. So Gray cannot move 10 because remember, he's in first place. He can only move eight. So he can choose either the six or the four. So obviously he would probably choose the six. And let's say, let's see, purple is in second. The most he can move is nine. So he has to choose the six also. And then all these, every horse after that can move 10 or more. Because the yellow, black, blue, and orange are all tied for third, which is the maximum of 10. So they can all move 10. And that's how the round of dice goes. Now, that's pretty much, it's gonna continue on just like that. A round of cards, round of dice, cards, dice, all the way around. And whoever is in, like I said, at the end of each round, whoever's in first, that horse moves first. And that's pretty much how it works. There's also the steeplevase, steeplechase version, which you would put these fences out, wherever these numbers are here. There's a one here. There's two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, the really the main difference in the steeplechase is in order to get over the fence, you have to have four, four points or more at your disposal to get over the fence. So if he played a six right here, he would go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how you get over the fence. If you don't have a card that can get you over the fence, then your horse is considered to be falling down and out of the race. On the die roll round, it doesn't matter whatever's rolled. If you, if you don't have enough to get over, you're just gonna stop right in front of the fence. Those are the main differences. So there's a lot more card strategy in the uh, steeplechase version and uh, really and that's how a basic game works 
they they consider a a round or like what do they call it um um I don't know what they call it uh they consider three games oh what is it I'm gonna look up here. A meeting. They call it a meeting. So the first round, the first race in a series of three races is called a meeting. And each round, you're going to get 10 cards. You have 30 cards in your deck. So at any time, though, you can, you can choose to take two more cards. And swap those and, and use those cards. But once you use them, once you've taken your two extra cards, you can't take them again. And then once you finish a race, any extra cards you have left over, you can keep those cards at your disposal. And then once you're dealt out your new hand of 10, you, can, you have to discard down to, you can exchange those cards that you kept for three cards that were dealt if you want, if you had three cards left over, sorry. Let's say you had three left over and you're dealt ten more, you could, you could move those three into your new hand but you'd have to take three cards out. Hopefully that's clear as mud. So, and you'll continue that for three races and after each race the winner would get first position second place would get second position and so on that's how you would determine the order for the next race but I think that's about it I will uh, call that good and hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later bye